What discounted cash flow rate should we use in a customer lifetime value calculation? Uh, here is the free template that I have on my website, which is in the link below. And as you can see over here, step two is to enter a, a discount rate. And basically, uh, I've preset that at 10%. But in today's low interest rate environment, that's a, probably a little bit high. And perhaps we should look a little bit lower. What this rate represents is what return could the business make on the money if they didn't give it to marketing and they didn't invest it in uh, new customers or improving customer loyalty. So a very simple example would be for a bank. A uh, bank has spare money, what they call liquidity, and they invest that in the, the open marketplace in various uh, financial instruments. So they might make, uh, you know, in the today's world, 5% on that money on average. So we turn up in marketing and say, hey, we can do really well improving customer lifetime value. Give us, you know, a, you know, a million dollars or something. So what we need to demonstrate is if our one million dollars, we can make more than a, you know, a 5% return on that. And uh, the calculations automatically worked out here but if we have a positive net present value more than more than the zero we have out earned five percent I'll put a, a very high number here 25 percent okay it's still positive so our programs that we have in place uh, will, will generate more than that so basically our discounted rate should be reflective of what uh, a comparable return could be in the business. And as I said, businesses often spare money, goes into some sort of investment. So uh, you should be able to find that out. And like I said, it's preset at 10%. That's probably a conservative hurdle to get over. So if you can get more than that happening, uh, that would be very impressive. But follow the link below for the free template.